in the land of grills. What's going on with Ace Smoke? Hey, Ace Smoke, what's going on with you? Because you're not returning my emails. And from what I understand from some of my viewers, you're not, uh, you're not uh, returning their emails either. Let's get started. Let's talk about what's going on with Ace Smoke. All right, background. I, I have been a, a big supporter of Ace Smoke, and I've, I've, I've used quite a few of their grills in the past from their original pellet grill to this AS350. And they're a very innovative company. I've always said that. Ace Smoke's very innovative. And some of the things that they put in their pellet grills, nobody else does. And, uh, you know, so when I started getting, you know, every I get emails all the time or I get comments all the time saying they're having problems with customer service. And customer service nationwide for whatever is being built sometimes isn't the best these days because of shortages of uh, parts and labor and stuff. But uh, A Smoke, I get more emails or comments about issues with A Smoke and not being resolved than any other of the grill brands that uh, I have here in the land of grill. So let's go online, let's see uh, what's going on with Ace. All right, so their you know website is still there. They've got this new grill coming out called The Essential. And it, they got this buy now, but it just takes you to the Kickstarter page. And um, when this first was being offered, I think I went in on the first offer and put down 10 bucks or 20 bucks. But then they came back for more money, and at that point, I just said, "Well, you know, what's this? You know, a little suspicious here of this." Now they did, um, and you can see it takes it right back to Kickstarter. Um, now I got a buddy out there, uh, Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue, that got his hands on one of these. Did a video on it, and he he made some mentions too that some of the things, you know, obviously needed some improvements, and he was hopeful that. Uh, a smoke would follow through on all that. They still, you know, showed all their pillow grills, you know, still fully functional here on, on the website. Now I did go to Walmart and Walmart appears to have a ton of them. Hey, um, Amazon, not so many, uh, but I think the most concerning part that a lot of you are having is uh, the lack of customer service. Now I have reached out to A smoke and, and not just like today, I, in the last eight weeks, I've sent them a couple emails and they have not responded to a single email I've sent them. And uh, I'm, you know, you would think that someone who's been supporting them over, over the years, you would think that they would want to respond because like I said, quite a few of you have been coming to me and saying, what's going on with A-Smoke? All right, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the pieces up there and how I'm trying to help out some of you that are having issues. All right, this is the part that a lot of people are saying that are missing. Now, there's here's the burn part on the A Smoke AS350, and uh, when you're using the pellets from A Smoke, they're Apple pellets, which are they're very expensive. Uh, you don't need this because the pellets are bigger, and the slots at the bottom when it burns, the ash falls right through. Uh, but when you're not using them and you're using somebody else's pellets, then you need to have this piece that goes. I gotta get in there right there. It's gotta go just like that. And that holds the pellets up and keeps them from falling through. And then as it augers more pellets through, it pushes the uh, it, it pushes the ash over to the side and then it goes down into the uh, into the ash bin. Uh, and, and that's what a lot of people are telling me is missing. And it's a key part. So um, I'm gonna show you, you know, I've already committed this one. I've cleaned it up. This is the original that came with this girl. I'm gonna be sending it off to one of you. But first, I want to make sure that the one I'm going to build is going to function correctly. Let's build that, test it out, and uh, see how that goes. All right, so here's the bottom piece for the burn pod on the uh, A-Smoke AS350. And this is the part the guy's missing. And uh, what I told him was I'd clean this up and send this part to him. Uh, but first, I want to see if I can't make one. So I've got some stainless steel here. Um, this actually came off like a pizza oven insert for a Pell Grill that... Nobody wanted, and uh, I was going to take it apart and throw it away, but then these little things here, I said, boy, I tell you what, I could probably use those at some point for something. So that's what we're going to do, and I, I traced it out with permanent mag magic marker, and the goal here is just uh, to cut it out with the, uh, the cutting wheel on the right angle grinder on the bower, and uh, don't forget to wear safety glasses. Let's get to cutting. Easy peasy, folks. Uh, if you don't have one of these in your shop, and this is a Harbor Freight Bauer, uh, thing works fantastically well. All right, uh, went up in the garage and this fits. So they've got this solid piece here. This takes up the, the burn part is actually not, 
round in this AS350. It's actually this size right here. And I believe they had this section there to keep this from moving. So I'm not going to be, well, I could, but I'm not going to. But what I am going to do, you can see I got some screws here. And I'm going to cut off some screws and drill a hole through and put two screws in there. And that'll leave this whole area out there. So better, you know, you'll have better chance of the ash getting in there, not holding up on stuff like this. While I'm at it, I'm going to drill a hole in the center to, imp to, to replicate that. And then I'm going to cut down the shoulder. And I think the thought is, is that ashes to, uh, as it augers in and it's burning right here, it would then push the ash over into here. That's what I'm thinking. This slot, I'm not really sure of. I think that's for air. So we're going to drill just a couple holes there to simulate, uh, to simulate that. So drill some holes. Remember, it's drilling the stainless steel. So you got to use bits that are meant for stainless steel. All right, holes drilled. Uh, now I'm just going to cut extend that out that way the ash has some place to go through the center and then I'm going to just take this shoulder down a little bit and maybe uh, V off these corners so once again I'll have three areas to allow the ash to go over this and that's the purpose here oh and you know what I got to drill I was going to drill a couple little holes here to let air in I got to do that yet all right here's the old one I cleaned it all up but this is what uh, is supposed to come with the a smoke as350 and um there's the mod that I did, and it fits, and I don't know why it won't work. Let's get it out of there. I mean, it uh, does everything this one was to do, and it's stainless steel, and I think the gauge of steel is even a little bit thicker, but um, there's only one way to fire up, is find out, right, is to fire it up, so let's fire it up. All right, you can see, I just turned it on, and we got, we got no fire yet, but you can see how it's performing, helping to hold the pellets in back by the, uh, by the, pro, by the, uh, the heat probe there, uh, the igniter, I should say. So we'll wait and see if we got some, uh, smoke and then fire, and then, uh, you know what, we'll let her run for a little bit and see how she does. All right, we got fire. Uh, and, you know, I could see why we needed those screws in there, because as the pellets push out, it hits on that dam, and it does want to try and push that plate. So I'm gonna put the deflector on, set this thing at 250, 300, and just see how it does. Know, you can see where I got it set, but I got it set at 250. You can see we're reading 259. Now we just fired up, so uh, I took, put two pucks in there, but I know they're not, yeah, they're 175 and 175. So it takes a little while for it to get up to temp here. We're gonna give us a little walk. In the meantime, I'm gonna go for a walk. See you in about an hour and 25 minutes. I just finished my walk. Um, it's about 10 degrees over, set at 250. Like I said, this has been sitting here for an hour and 20 minutes like this. Let's take a look at the pucks. Pucks are, can you see that? Oh, come on here. Such a glare. A little over 250 there. And uh, how can I get this? So you're not seeing the glare, but uh, you're gonna have to take my word for it. It's a little over 250 there. So the pucks are coinciding with what that says. It's now 262. So I'm gonna shut this down and I just wanna see how the, uh, how our uh, modification did, how our, you know, the insert worked and uh, did the ash all go over the side like uh, I intended it to. So let's give her about a half an hour to cool down. Give you a look see all right things have cooled down and uh you can see that uh the ash did really you know it stayed in there it pushed a couple pellets over it looked like and it looks like it pushed some ash over too if we go and take a look and the uh, remember this has this removable drawer underneath that uh, the ash goes into and then you can put some liquid in there too and you can see it, it caught the ash too so i think that our little contraption here replace this part I think it actually works let me uh, vacuum it out and um, actually you know what Let's see if I can just pull it out there's still some hot embers on there but uh, held up pretty nice remember the fire is right on top of that so I think this is the ticket uh, like I said you could you could if you had uh, some scrap uh, angle iron bigger angle iron that was, uh, hang on, hang on, let me get, get a tape. So like I said, if you had some 
angle iron that was two inches. Two inches by three and a quarter. You know, if it's three and a half, you cut it down and then just cut the lip down and you can make yourself one of these too. Uh, for your A Smoke AS350, if it didn't come with one of these, what are your thoughts on uh, A Smoke? Do you think they're doing okay? I'm a little worried about them, as I said in the beginning. Uh, it's a lot of fun. This is the stuff I really enjoy doing. So the, the, the subscriber who's getting this, it's going to be in the mail early next week. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up, leave a comment. Hey, don't forget, if you've made it this far, you want to support the channel, super thanks down below. Buy yours truly a beer. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, folks.